Mississauga is a large and diverse Canadian city located in southern Ontario on the shores of Lake Ontario. And having a bustling downtown core with restaurants, shopping and activities, it can get overwhelming figuring out what to do if you're a newcomer to Canada or just new to the city. Today, we're going to talk about five top things that you can do in Mississauga, Ontario. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Aaron Putman, your South Mississauga real estate agent. And if you want to learn everything about what it's like to work, sleep, live, and play in Mississauga, then make sure you tap that subscribe button and click the bell so you'll be notified each and every time that I post a new video. I get a lot of people that reach out to me that are just curious about the area and moving to Mississauga and I absolutely love helping them. So if you're thinking about making the move and you have questions about Mississauga or the Toronto area in general, please feel free to reach out to me and let me help guide you home. DM, text, email, call, comment because I have your back when moving to Mississauga. And if you're looking at buying or selling and you want to book a video call with me, head down to the first link in the video description below where you can book directly into my calendar to speak with me about any of your real estate needs. That said, without further ado, let's get into it. First on our list is Square One Shopping Center. Square One is the largest mall in Ontario and the second largest mall in Canada with over 2.2 million square feet and more than 360 stores has a wide variety of restaurants and entertainment options as well and this mall serves on average 24 million people a year. It's the most popular mall in Mississauga. Square One is a must stop for a shopping day. Know though that it can be busy around the mall with lots and traffic, people and congestion. So go during off times to get the best experience. Next we have Port Credit Village. This area is located on the shores of Lake Ontario and is home to many unique shops, restaurants and cafes. It's also a great spot for waterfront activities like boating and fishing. You'll find this area busy every weekend as it's one of the main tourist areas in Mississauga. One of the biggest and most popular events in Port Credit is the Canada Day celebrations Paint the Town Red. Other popular events that occur in Port Credit are the annual Mississauga Waterfront Festival as well as Rib Fest. You can also take an offshore fishing charter out of Port Credit, grab a coffee at several of the city's most popular cafes, or just stroll the streets or the pier and take in the sights. Third on the list is the Bradley Museum. This historic site is home to a collection of 19th century buildings and artifacts that tell the story of the area's early settlers. Mississauga is rich in history and the Bradley Museum dives into what it was like for early settlers of Mississauga to live here. You'll find the actual Bradley house on the property, which sits in its original location. Other historic homes have been moved to the site to better capture history all in one place. One of the most popular events at Bradley Museum is the annual Maple Syrup Festival in March. It's a must if you have children. The fourth thing to do in Mississauga is to visit Mississauga Celebration Square. This public space hosts the largest events throughout Mississauga every year, including concerts, festivals, and outdoor movies. Celebration Square is popular for ice skating in the winter, movies under the stars in the summer, farmer's market and Christmas markets, and the annual New Year's celebration, which is always a huge hit. Celebration Square is open at times when there are no events to just hang out and enjoy the downtown. Lastly, we have the Meadowvale Conservation Area. This natural area offers hiking, trails, fishing, and picnic areas, making it the perfect spot for a getaway from the city. It's not the biggest park in Mississauga, but it is one of the best for hiking. And hiking through here, you will just, you'll just forget about the urban surroundings of Mississauga for a couple hours. So if you need a break from the everyday, or you just want to stay in the city while getting out of it, Meadowvale Conservation Area is one place that you can do that. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful and valuable. And if you're thinking about moving to Mississauga and you're curious about living in Mississauga, please feel free to reach out to me. DM, text, email, call, comment, whatever is easiest for you, because I've got your back when moving to Mississauga. And each and every week, I'm bringing you new videos about living in Mississauga. So make sure you tap that subscribe button and click the bell so you're notified each and every time that I post a new video. Again, 
My name is Aaron Putman. Let me help guide you home. See you in the next one.